Hey guys, welcome back. This is your friend Rankish Three, and you're watching R Three Gaming, a channel dedicated to gaming videos, gaming technology, and tutorials. And in today's video, we gonna learn about Studio Mode in OBS. So if you are not aware about what is Studio Mode, let me tell you in this video what is Studio Mode and how you can use it to make your stream look more professional and get more organized while switching be between uh, you know two different scenes or multiple scenes so before starting this video i want to do a subscriber appeal all of you people who have been supporting me throughout my journey i would request you to please uh, like my channel subscribe to my channel and like all the videos and comment if you want to and you can also follow me on other social media media platforms like facebook and instagram uh, my handle for facebook and instagram is same as of youtube that is r3 gaming so with that uh, let's get started in this video see you soon hey guys welcome back and today we're gonna speak about studio mode so what is studio mode and what does it do so studio mode is basically a function in OBS which you can see right over here in the right hand side bottom corner and what it does is that it gives you an ability to edit uh, your scene in the background uh, without your viewers being able to uh, you know uh, to see them the editing part and without you know they knowing that what exactly is being done in the background or in the backstage area so what you need to do is that to enable this mode you just need to go to this button over here studio mode and once you do that you will have two different windows like this one would be preview and the other would be program so, so the program one which is on the right is your live or the current window where your live streaming is happening or where your recording is happening and the preview window is where all the editing part is going to take place so how this actually works so now this uh, you know this studio mode works in in a manner where you want to go to another scene and before you want to go to another scene you want to uh, do some sort of editing in that so in this case what I'll do is that I'll go to my uh, live screen so in the preview now you can see that I have gone to my second scene which is live stream screen and the preview is available in the preview window and you can see there are a couple of like you know banners and Facebook um, you know uh, Facebook goal over here so what I want to do is suppose that I want to hide the banner before going into this scene so what I'm gonna do is that I'm going to go to the banner over here and I'm just simply going to hide it and now it's hidden but my viewer doesn't know that I'm doing all these things uh, you know in, in my OBS and they won't be able to see this the only thing they would be able to see is the ultimate result and once you click on this transition button over here see uh, the scene is available on the uh, on the program window and now what happens is that once you go to the program window uh, the, uh, the you know the previous the earlier scene which was available on the program window goes back to the preview window uh, so you can see a quick transition over here in case I want to again you know use this window over here in the preview section to the program section so I can just see that how it's going to look the slider would help you know how is it going to look now another case which we can do is that since we are in a uh, live stream screen over here and now i want my uh, viewers to see my banner what i'm gonna do i'm just simply going to unclick this and again i'm just going to click on this transition and they would be able to see the banner one more thing which we can do here is the quick transition transitions now by default i have selected you know uh, the arcade pop transitions in the scene transition section over here but suppose i don't want to really go uh, you know to that transition do all that kind of animation between you know just editing my scenes i want it pretty fast 
so what we can do is that uh, we can add transition from here these are that's why they are called quick transitions so whichever transition you want to use you can just simply click on it and it will be added in the menu over here uh, you can add fade then you can go to the swipe and i'll show you how this works so what you need to do is that suppose i'm going to end this stream and i will select the live stream ended and sometimes it doesn't appear automatically over here it happens so for that you can do is that you can just simply slide this and it will be available over here the ultimate effect won't be shown over here in the program but it will be available over here so now what so now what we are going to do is that i just want to show this review window to my uh, uh, to my audience and to my viewers so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to select one of these transitions from here instead of choosing the default transition which is arcade pop stranger transition so let's say i am going to use uh, cut or swipe for that matter so once i have selected and done all the editing in this part over here i just going to simply click on the swipe and it's going to happen over here so you see how it swiped from uh, right to left i'll show you this once again uh, now the scenes have switched uh, you know they have swapped between the program and the preview window so i'm just going to simply click on this transition to make them as they were earlier so you see how the how the scene has simply switched between both the windows i'll give one another you know a try to this and try to make you understand so i'm going to click on this swipe and this simple transition happened instead of the arcade pop stranger uh, taking place which is the default now if i switch between any other window like let's say instant replay uh, and i just go simply to the transition and i click on it so see that that's the default transition which is going to take place so this is how a uh, studio mode actually works so the benefit of having a studio mode is that it gives you an ability to do all the editing uh, you know in the background without your viewers being knowing that what is going on in the background they really don't want to be sometime interested in what is going in the background so you can just simply edit all your text you want to add a photo of your sponsor or something like that and you can just simply uh, and do that and then make the transition happen uh, one more thing which i want to share with you guys before ending this video is is also a very interesting feature of uh, obs studio for this you have to go to the view section and then in the view section there is the, this last option multi view window now you can see this multi view window is available with us what exactly is this multi view window it might look like that you know you are just it seems to be very complicated but it isn't actually so multi view window is basically uh, you know all your scenes all these scenes on the left hand side uh, being arranged in the way they are right over here in these small windows these small eight windows so if i go to my first scene suppose it's let's go now uh, we yeah so now you see so now my let's go is available in the first and then my live stream screen which is the second scene is available over here and then the instant replay is available over here then live stream is available over here and then screen record and take a break and all those so in totality you can have eight different scenes arranged over here and <clears throat> and uh, the way studio mode were working this is this also works in the same manner like you can just simply see the preview of all the windows which you are clicking over here and then the program actual program being running over here okay so this is more of a visual thing uh, in in studio mode you have the ability to edit and do all sort of changes but in this you can't simply do any changes it is that you just simply can click on any of these screens and directly go to the scenes so this is 
good in terms when you have all your scenes set up done and you just simply want to switch between the scenes and you just want to uh, you know go and see that how actually that scene is looking on the screen so you can use uh, this multi view window at from you know at that point of time so this is how a studio mode and a multi view window uh, works so i hope you guys have learn something from this video today and in case you did uh, please let me know by putting it in the comment section you can also follow me on uh, me on social media like youtube facebook and instagram my handle is r3 gaming and once you do please drop in me a message that you have followed me so that i can give you a shout out in my next video to all the followers who have been following me for this long thank you very much once again for watching my videos and for the lovely comments which you keep sending to me uh, with that thank you so much for watching this video and i'll be back again with another video very soon till then take care bye bye and have a great day